ChatGPT can really help you with style commands in terms of how to organize your writing and that kind of stuff and have it set up correctly uh, and maybe prompt you for that. So let's take a look at that. You know, it's better if I show you than kind of tell you what it is. And in style commands, sometimes it's good to be more detailed. It's always good to be detailed with ChatGPT, but even more detailed might be good with this. So I'm going to copy paste something in here that I pre wrote because it's a little longer. And you'd be normally you'd be typing this out, and I'm saying, you know, please write a blog post, or it could be an article, or an email, it could be whatever you want it to be. And let's say I want it to be on navigating office politics, right? So that's the subject. But I'm asking it to now be more stylistic, right? Use each two headings, which if you write blogs, you know, that's a style of headings, right? So for our blogger experts, more better blogger experts than me, but you want to set it up so there's each two headings, and you're telling it style ways that you want to use persuasive language, right? So I want to use persuasive language as opposed to maybe a friendly tone or a stern tone or you know, non-persuasive language, but I want to talk about office politics with persuasive language, ask questions between sections, and then back up the main points with examples and stories, right? So this is pretty detailed from what I'm looking for from a style standpoint, and I can have GTBT write this first draft of a blog post, and I can then adjust it and make it my own. I'm not gonna copy and paste it, I'm gonna make it my own, maybe add in my own examples and things, but it can give me some ideas of what I might wanna be looking for. So this is an article I'm writing or a blog post I'm writing on office politics, right? So here's navigating office politics, how to succeed without losing your integrity. We could even change that as ChatGPT to come up with alternative titles. Maybe we'll do that in a moment. So it has like, a, this is like a, a writing type thing, right? So office politics can be a tricky game to play. Um, and then it gets into understanding the power dynamics, right? So that would be the first heading, which would be a H2 type heading, right? I've seen where ChatGPT will actually put the words or uh, H2 in front of it, you know? And I think as ChatGPT evolves, you might even see this where it'll actually change the size of the fonts. Uh, we might be watching for that at some point. But right now it's not really doing that. Uh, so then it talks about the first Step and then it talks about the power dynamics and then it gives that example because why is it doing that? Because I asked, back up the main points of examples and or stories. Maybe I should have said or stories. So here's, a, here's an example, right? Um, and then it has a nice little wrap up that power dynamics can also be fluid. And then ask questions, understand motivations, right? So this is again, talking about this heading here about navigating office politics and to understand motivation. And then here's an example of how you can use questions to understand motivations, right? Uh, always seems to be looking for ways to one-up you, you know, a team member, a colleague. Instead of getting defensive, try to understand motivation, right? Are they insecure about their performance? Are you trying to impress the boss? What's going on here, right? And then avoid gossip and drama. And then again, it has a little thing about that. And then it has the for example, standing up for your values, you know, uh, then it has a little, you know, paragraph and then for example, right? So here's a nice little, you know, more than little actually blog post. This is a pretty extensive article or blog post about navigating office politics. Um, and that's kind of com coming through here, and I can see conclusion, and then I can adjust this and put in my own ideas, and maybe every example I want to change, or maybe I have like an example of one, let's say here, like for example, let's let's say, well, colleagues have a fair with boss, let's take a different one, um, like a project that you believe is unethical could harm, let's say you're working on a project that is unethical or could harm others, right? So instead of this important to speak up part, I could change in my actual article, say, um, I remember a time when I was asked to work on ABC project and my boss asked me to, um, you know, manipulate numbers or whatever it might be, you know, where you're now putting in your personal human examples as you flesh out, you know, in more of a final version, what ChatGPT has helped you to kind of organize thoughts and put together in terms of this article. But I mean, here's a nice article that you can now make your own and, you know, more original content. And by the way, since we're here, and you've probably seen this many other places, but you can ask GP, chat GPT, you know, can you give me 10 other titles um, for this article or for this? For this? And because we're in, a, we're in this chat, it's gonna know I'm asking about this thing on office politics, not like some other thing I've been working on. And you can see it's gonna come up quickly with alternative titles for your, your blog post. So the whole idea on this part here is other than there's some interesting titles here that are coming up and you can pick the one that you like. Let's let it get to 10. Okay, we're one away. One more, come on, chat, GPT. There we go. All right, so there we got 10 different ideas. But the whole key to this is when you want to try to affect your writing style uh, or start with that first kind of, you know, um, 
framework is probably a good word for it. You know, talk about what you want it to do. What's you want a blog post? What do you, what is it on? Uh, navigating office politics, headings, footers, whatever you might want to have in there, and the type of language that's using persuasive language and the questions between scenes. Give examples. Um, you know, that's a real more, you can see this is a more f formal persuasive language thing where I could then, let's say, at, you know, you know, you know, now write in a friendly and fun tone. Oops, tone, right? So I'm going to change that style here real quickly, uh, just so, you know, not so we can get an idea here. Oops, uh, right, right, Steve. Let's say now type, now write, now write in a friendly and fun tone. I'm still within this chat, so it knows what I'm talking about here, but now um, it's gonna write in the, instead of this persuasive, more formal tone, it's gonna change the tone and keep everything else the same, but it's gonna write it in a more friendly and fun tone, or it should, let's double check, see if it does. So, hey there, my office politics savvy friend. <laughs> Welcome to the blog, this is a blog post that helps you, all right? So there you go, that's pretty friendly versus the more formal thing, right? So here I've got understanding the power dynamics, right? And, and it kind of goes into some of these different things and asking questions, but it did leave out, you know, the give me examples type stuff, but it's uh, but it's but it's writing in that friendly term, tone, right? Like here, understand the power dynamics. Okay, so you've got some big wigs in the office who call the shots. And then there are those, the folks who are influence those big wigs. It's like a game of chess, right? But don't get caught up in the power dynamics. See how it's much more fun. Um, uh, just be aware it's like knowing the lay of the land before you set out on a hike, right? See how friendly and persuasive, in that persuasive, how friendly this is versus understanding power dynamics. Let's go back up here. You know, the first step is understand this. Who are the decision makers? What's going on? Who's influencing? You know, but it did give an example, you know, um, which I asked it to, but because I didn't ask it in the follow-up, uh, it didn't. It just changed everything into this more friendly and fun tone. Uh, but it's okay, because I know I might be able to add my own examples in there. Um, or let's say uh, I could just ask it, could you give an example for power dynamics? I'd rather have it do it all at one time. So that's where writing the questions is so important. The prompts is so important, so I didn't have to do that and then cut and paste and go back and, you know, so here's an example of power. Let's say you're a junior player and then it gives you an example. Maybe I should have said write that in a friend, uh, you know, fun and friendly tone. Let's do that too. Let's just stop the generation. So it matches up here. And I'm gonna go back up here uh, in a friendly and fun tone. Okay. Let's see if this changes it now. So I'm asking for power dynamics in a friendly and fun tone. Absolutely, my friend, let me give you some example. Imagine you were at a party and there's one person who seems to know everyone. All right, so interesting, isn't it? Instead of that real formal type stuff, now it's giving me a nice anecdotal you know, example that might be a, a really good way for people to understand that this particular thing about power dynamics. So as you can see, asking the correct questions and, and the right order and the different things you can do, you can start building this all out. And you can say, imagine you're party and you, they, when you write it, you can take this and then add on your own part that says, I remember I, I was at this business meeting and boy, it was just like a cocktail party, except nobody was drunk <laughs> or whatever, right? So that's the idea behind it. Uh, when you're looking at style, again, what are you writing about? What are the style, what's the topic? What are the style things you're looking for? Persuade, ask questions, all that stuff. Back on main points, examples and stories. So the more you can put into your style part, the more it'll come back with the style that you might be looking for or more fit, might fit your eventual writing style as you start to adapt these things and to ethically adapt these things into your own writing that you're doing.